<laughs> so, kids, it's Valentine's Day, and you know what that means. You get to stay downstairs watching TV with the sound turned way up. What about you and Mom? Oh, we'll be upstairs in the bedroom making lovely rope ladders in case there's a fire. Okay. Children, so naive. What? Who's naive? I didn't say anything. So naive. This is so romantic. Oh, my darling, nothing is too romantic for you. Have some more liquor. <laughs> Have to drink up my pretty. <laughs> Thanks for the love tip, 60 Minute Chew. Mmm, funky. Hey there, little Red Riding Hood. I ate your granny, and now I'm in the mood for love. Oh, Roman, I'm sorry. You know I usually bring my A-game to the bedroom, but tonight I just can't throw the heat. But it's St. Valentine's Day. God wants us to do it. You're so cute when you're begging for sex, but I'm just too tired. Well, my special mixtape will get you going. <laughs> oh no, that's Maggie's mixtape. And Maggie must have gotten... Sex bomb, sex bomb, you're my sex bomb. And baby, you can turn me on. Shut down on Valentine's Day. That's supposed to be a gimme. Everybody's getting some but me. Paul Glavin, all oh, nice lady android with the true to life. Drive it. Game over. Everyone but me. Thanks for waking me for the bookmobile, Terrence. Oh, Mart doesn't think I'm sexy. What am I supposed to do? Hmm. Suicide, eh? That's it! Thank you, outdoor advertising. You saved my marriage. Not for the first time. Releasing your inner screenplay. Create an online kennel. Ooh, strip for your wife. Well, I was here to win back Brandine. She been making eyes at that photographer what come to document our squalor. <laughs> Welcome to How to Strip for Your Wife. Dr. Hibbert, you're the teacher? Oh, <laughs> oh yes. I put myself through medical school dancing under the name Malcolm Sex. I please the ladies by any means necessary. Now, let's start with a full review of the theory of stripping. Paleosexologists tell us that... What the hell are you doing? Mm -hmm. Homer, are you already oiled? Three coats. That oil was for the entire class. Homer, take this quarter, call your mother, and tell her you're never going to be a stripper. Aren't you going to chuckle? There's nothing to chuckle about. Um, nobody loves oily Homer. You there. Yeah, the greasy naked bald man. You know everything about me. What would you say if I offered you the secret of true success? Wipe me down and sign me up. <clears throat> the trick is to blot the oil. Wiping just pushes it around. You're preaching to the choir, man. Now, life is hard. Am I right? Oh, yeah. 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 Wrong! Life is easy. You suck. You have to take life. You have to grab it by its little bunny ears and get in its face. God, look at you losers. I can read your minds. Oh, oh, I'm afraid of success. It's pizza's fault. I'm fat. Oh, I'll stop sucking. Later. Come here. Give me your hand. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, teacher! <laughs> you see this watch? It's jammed with so many jewels, the hands can't move. What kind of watch do you have? Uh, well, I drew it on. See? Wow. You see?
You see that car out there? That's a Bentley Mark 12. They gave one to me, one to Steven Spielberg, and then they shot the guy who made it. Oh, I'd hate to be in that union. Friends, there's a force that runs through the universe. We used to call that force God. We now call it Megatronics, the 48 tips to corporate success. You know? Yeah. Woo, published by Kinko's. Do you want to be the ultimate you? Yes. Do you want to yodel at the top of the corporate mountain? Yes. Will you write me a check made out to cash? Good. Yes. Tip one, live each day like it was your last. <laughs> I don't want to die. I'm so young. <laughs> Tip two, let nothing stand in your way. Listen up, life obstacles. From now on, nothing's going to stand in Homer Simpson's way. Do your homework. Don't do so much homework. Learn to talk. You, let's love now. Sounds good to me. Go on ahead. I'll just slow you down. It's the sound of a go-getter at work, Marge. Look, I installed a key hook so you'll always know where your keys are. Oh, that's so sweet. I was tired of putting my keys in that bowl like a caveman. I finally harnessed the awesome power of the hook. Well, time for work. Mwah. Megatronics tip 20. Make your cubicle into a ubicle. Hmm. What's next, Megatronics? Point out problems at your workplace to your boss. To separate yourself from the herd, just paddle on the cattle. Hmm. I say, Phantom Menace sucks more. I say, Attack of the Clouds sucks more. <laughs> Oh. Uh oh, that's toxic waste. Ah! 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 And now to see Mr. Burns for the promotion and raise I've deserved since this morning. Mr. Burns, I've made a list of recommendations to improve plant efficiency. Oh, have you now? Well, huzzah, huzzah. I'll just throw back my legs and pollute my britches with delight. But the book said you would applaud my initiative. And what book is that? The ape who wanted a big bonus? Stop wasting my time, you corn-fed man-cow. <laughs> would you mind? Yes, sir. <laughs> Little eels, electric eels. <laughs> I didn't know Mr. Burns had an electric eel pond. Well, he does. All my life, I've had one dream to achieve my many goals. Mr. Burns has never given me a thumbs up or a way to be or a you go girl. No, he just steps all over everyone who works for him, taking pleasure in making us feel small. Aww. Oh, man, don't let it get you down. So Mr. Burns doesn't take you seriously. Big whoop. Who gives a doodle? Whoopie ding dong do. Thanks for trying, but I'll be at Moe's. So my husband goes to a bar every night. Whoop de do. Who gives a bibble? Gabba gabba hey. I gave Mr. Burns the best years of my life. And how much respect does he give me? Slim to bupkis. Who's this Burns guy? Somebody you work with? Oh, we've been complaining about him every night for eight years. Well, if this guy's riding your rump, why don't you slap him some payback? Revenge? And Mr. Burns? Yeah, send him magazine subscriptions he don't want. Or give him some FaceTime with Sweet Lady Brick. Ha <laughs> ha. Now, I think this calls for something a little more cerebral. <laughs> Wait till he steps on this flaming bag of <gasps> Lisa's college fund! <laughs> Sir, we could be in real trouble here.